So uh, good morning, everyone. Today we record uh, the uh, week six lab for Math 102, the presentation. So uh, I'll share with you uh, my screen, first of all. And here we go. So um, um, so the, the, the content of uh, week six um, presentation slides is mainly and mostly about areas between curves which is section 7.1. And this third semester 232 at KFUPM, uh, this is the last uh, part of the material to be covered for the interim exam. So uh, this presentation will talk about the areas between curves and we will go through uh, three examples. Uh, so first of all, we'll start with this uh, sample midterm question, uh, question number six. Uh, it says the area of the region closes between the curves x equals 10 y squared minus 4 y and x equals 3 y minus 11 y squared is equal to. And we have five choices. And uh, of course, we have the week six IT YLE5, the Python file with Jupyter notebook. So you need to import the, uh, the functions and the actions needed. And what process? So, first of all, what should we do as usual? Define the x and y variables using symbols from SingPy. Uh, and here, of course, you should notice that x and y need to be real numbers. We then look for the intersection of curves using the solve command, which finds the intersection between two, two, two relations or two equations or two functions. And here, here we need in this command expression, expression one and expression two to equal zero. And the solution to be with the respect to variables one and variable. So here is a screenshot from the IT on one D file from the Python file, the definition of the uh, of the variables and uh, the solutions to this equation, where we have the first function x minus ten y squared minus four y should be equal to x minus three y minus eleven y squared with respect to x and y, and the solutions will be in solve in this list and will display the list. So here you see you have two points of intersection, the points of coordinates minus two over nine, one over three, and of course the point zero zero. Okay, if you have, if you want to have a look to our uh, Python file, here it is. Here is our sample. Course. And then the next step, as you can see, we'll plot the two curves. First one we'll call P1, and the second one we'll call, we'll call P2. And we, we will use the plot implicit function here to plot the two curves. And uh, we'll make P2 extend onto the uh, plot of P1. That was the first one was P1, this is P2, and then this is uh, P1 on the top of P2. So we're mainly talking about this region between the two curves. Okay, so and here are the two points for this action, of course, the point of origin, zero, zero, and the point which was, I think, minus two over nine, one over three. Okay, so that's the, the, the slide number four. So we'll move to slide number five, and then we will find to, we need to find by integration. This slide, of course, summarizes what I just said about lots of the two functions, P1. P2, the plot, the plot of P2 extended on the top of P1, and we show the bridge. Okay, so with this command plot implicit, we will have the two functions here on top of each other, and we will have the area which is dashed between the two uh, curves. And here it is in the part and file. Plot implicit with the end command A. Make a capital and between brackets you have x that should be less than 3y minus 11 y squared, which is the uh, the function that is below, and x larger than uh, that is below, and x is larger than 10y squared minus 4y. Okay, so here we go. So basically, this is the upper limit, which is 10y squared minus 4y, and this is the lower limit, which is uh, this is the upper limit, which is 3y minus 11 squared. And on the left, you have 
uh, the lower limit, which is 10 i squared minus y y. Yes. Sorry for that. So uh, we'll move forward. Now we want the integration. So we can see that the region is bounded from both by E2 and from below by P1. That's very important. So you won't have a uh, negative area, of course. And the integration should go from 0 to 1 over I3 if you integrate with respect to y. And since we express it x as a function of y, we will, uh, we will just integrate with respect to y. 0 going from 1 over 3. Uh, x, uh, y going from 0 to 1 over 3. One could ask a question, why are we going from 0 to 1 over 3? Because our points of intersection, the first point, the origin, has y equals 0. And the second point has y equals 1 over 3. Okay, so that's why we integrate from 0 to 1 over 3 with respect to y. And of course, we'll place the curve that is above first minus the curve that is below, and this way we'll get the area between the two curves. So once you integrate this with the integrate command, of course, the first function on the second function and the integration variables y, the lower limit is 0, the upper limit is 1 over 3, and you get 0 0.129629. And that's the result of the integration. Okay, so that's it. Now we will have example one, another example. This is from Stuart Kettler's book. And we need to find the area of the region closed by the curves, x, which is y squared minus 4y, and x is equal to 2y minus y squared. We will repeat the same things as with example one. And we get this graph, where the second curve lies above the first curve on the closed region. And we'll get here 9 as a total area of the region. Here is our Python file. We did the same thing. We found the points of intersection. It will be 0, 0, and minus 3 over 3. We plot the two emphasis curves, P1 and P1, uh, P2. And we need to find the area, the area between the two curves. And then we put the end command here. We, we dashed this region. And of course, the integration here will be uh, from 0 to 3 with respect to y. And here we'll do P2 minus P1. So that's where we get the positive area. Now, example number two, we kind of uh, <clears throat> uh, have different shapes here. We have Y equals X4 and Y equals 2 minus absolute value of X. And we need to find the area of the region between the two curves. <clears throat> So uh, we use the command here, end solve, to get the intersection points number, okay? Because it might be a little bit hard to get an attic solution for this because of the x4. And uh, this command solves equation equals zero, starting from initial point from it, and gives the list of solution in terms of x. And here we have to initialize the numerical solution from good point. Uh, if you remember, we, we did something uh, very uh, close to this in Math 101 with the Newton method. Uh, so we have to initialize the numerical resolution from a good point, and if we initialize, if we initialize from uh, from two, we get x equals one. Here is a screenshot of the Python file. We solve the equation. Start from two, we get one. Start from negative two, we get minus one. So if you want to get a uh, uh, view of the Python file, here it is. The first, the first one, the first graph is x4 plus x4. And the second graph is the graph of 2 minus absolute value of x. That's it. Then one of the top of the other. This is it. And if you want to dash, you use the end comment and you plot implicit. That's the region we're talking about. To find the points of intersection, we'll use the solve. So here we go we'll start by initializing from two, we get one. Initializing from minus two, we get minus one. And we'll integrate then our uh, integral will be um, f2 minus f1. So two minus absolute value of x minus x4, x of power four. And x will go from minus one to one. Okay. 
So it means that in our graph here, we go from this point to this point. And here we go. So the result of the integration will be here, 1305. Okay. So uh, and that was uh, beneficial for everyone. And thank you very much for following. And good luck for uh, the next couple of days. Goodbye.